What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. The holy trinity of ab training. Yes, trinity, three. It's not just about the abs when you want the abs to look better and certainly when you want them to perform better, you gotta learn to start incorporating more than just the abs. And today we're gonna show you the three muscle groups that wanna work together and prefer to work together. So it's the rectus abdominis, the six pack area, the obliques, and of course the serratus anterior also because all these muscles will feed in together. And the cool thing is I can show you something you can do in one setup that's going to cover all of these areas in one shot, okay? Now, if you don't have a captain's chair set up, don't worry about it. You can do it in a corner of a kitchen counter where the counter meets. Just get in here and do exactly what I'm gonna do here, okay? You're gonna actually just grab on, put one hand on each side of the kitchen counter, or in this case, if you have access to this, you can use this or a set of dip bars. Now, the first thing you wanna do is positioning of your shoulders. You don't wanna let your shoulders sink down yet. Not the whole time because we know that if we get depression of the shoulder blades, that we can get a little bit of activation of the serratus anterior. We're gonna to get to more direct in a little sec in a second here. But just by holding this demands more activation of these muscles, and that's a good start. So we want to start off with ab training, with the ab exercise, erectus. And we know that you see people do this all the time, okay? But this is not what I want to see. I don't want to see your knees, I don't want to see your toes. What I want to do is I've mentioned this before on this channel. I kind of want to see your ass, so that means that you want to see that, okay? You want to see the, the bottom half facing you. And the reason why that is, is because when the bottom half faces you, I'm flexing the spine, okay? You can't see my bottom half, my ass, unless I'm flexing my spine and tucking it in. So we start off there, and we rep out to failure. The next thing we want to work on is the obliques. So we know that we need to get rotation involved to do that. Well, how do we do that? Come back up. Here, again, positioning. Not here, but up. Okay, lock it in. We're going to twist our body here, and then from there, twist back and come up and across our body. Here, boom. Here, up. Up. Okay, and of course we go other side, down, up, 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 twist, and come up. Last one. So we talked about the serratus. Deep inside, up in here, feeding into the oblique. So all those sort of obliquely oriented muscles that are arranged on a diagonal that help to streamline the appearance of your whole core. So we can do that. Those muscles are most active when we get protraction of the arm. If I turn this way, when the arm is here and then protracts away from the body, okay, that's when the serratus kicks in. Like if we're doing a push-up, it's a push-up plus. We push through. We can do that. Change the orientation of your body. Get up top. Now, allow yourself to dip down, okay? and lean forward. From here, you're gonna push up here, and then lift your torso up and down. Sink in, lean forward, so we're getting that push more away from our body. Up and push up. Up, push, up, push, up, push, up, push, up, push, up, push. So down here, and then pull the pelvis up and under, okay? So we're working on that whole area up under here. Again, trying to get the muscles that prefer to work together to work together. I am caught. This is the holy trinity, guys. Not just because we want it to be, but because your body actually prefers it to be that way. Stop training in isolation. Let your muscles work together at all costs. If you're looking for a program that trains you like an athlete and therefore lets muscles work together that prefer to, head to athletenext.com and get our Athletenex training program. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Remember, no excuses. You can do this anywhere. You don't need any kind of special fancy equipment. All right, guys. See you soon.